Ever since Marcus laid down his life for Ivanova, which could not be a more romantic ending for a character ever, I think, the fans have wanted to know, is he actually dead or is he merely resting? Uh, they have debated this to a great deal, as you can see in the following clips. Marcus calls Frozen. I really want to say Frozen, but artistically, he's got to be dead. Frozen. Dead. We have to all agree that he was frozen. Probably dead. Frozen. I'd have to say dead. Frozen. 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 Definitely frozen. Dead. Marcus, frozen. He's a popsicle. Dead pending a recount. I had always felt dead. You know, they said he's frozen just to kind of lessen the blow. They've got him frozen because they want to be able to pull out that cool little ranger dude. It's all the girls going. <laughs> to this day, he thinks he's been frozen. He refuses to believe that he that he was killed off. I finished filming and I went up to Joey in the corridor and I said, well, am I dead or am I cryogenically frozen? And his response was, well, if there isn't a season five, you're dead because you might as well be. But if there is, you're cryogenically frozen. And because there was a season five, I'm cryogenically frozen. And I still am. There was a short story that I did uh, called Time, Space, and the Incurable Romantic in which we posit that Marcus, uh, having been frozen for about 500 years, is revived and has a chance to uh, recreate Ivanova. And uh, fans, some fans thought that was a terrible idea. Some fans thought it was a great idea. But to me, it's a canonical idea. That's what happened. So he's, as, as Python would say, mostly dead, but much better now. Uh, he's frozen. He will eventually be revived. And when he is revived, he and the new version of Ivanova will live happily ever after on a small planet off by themselves.